Hey guys, I'm Brianna aka Simon Slays and in today's video I'm going to show you some corrective skills you can do to improve at roller skating. the thing that you might be doing and then how you can adjust it. Also going to direct you on the first skills that you should get straight as a roller skater when you first start off. This is going to help you improve your skating. So if you're first starting out, you're teaching yourself, this video is going to be very helpful. If you want to get to the point where you're backwards skating, doing transitions, jumping and all of that, but you want to know what you need to get right first, this is where you want to start. Find a spot that's clear and open to practice in that doesn't have a lot on the ground like not a lot of pebbles or rocks it's kind of smooth surface make sure you have the right wheels and you adjust your skates and wear your protective gear it's better to be safe than sorry and safety is sexy starting off one of the first things that many beginner skaters do when they first start out roller skating is they skate with their feet side by side instead of skating with your feet side by side you're gonna want to stagger your feet this means you pick one foot to go backwards and put your weight on and another foot to be out in front which is your lead foot and it does not matter which foot you choose as your lead it's really just whatever you feel most comfortable with and whatever one is your preference by choosing one foot in front and then having most your weight on the other foot you are going to be able to direct yourself which direction you want to go and you're going to be able to control your weight a lot better because you kind of have your back leg as the one that you're putting most of your weight on and balancing with and the other one you put out in front is the one that you're going to use to kind of direct yourself at which direction you want to go. Feet side by side when you're skating is actually really uncomfortable. Learn to stagger your feet, put one foot forward and your weight back on the one behind you. This is also one of the most common things I see with beginner roller skaters is standing straight up and down when you're roller skating. Just like or board, you're skating, standing straight up and rolling forward. What you want to do instead is to bend down and bend your knees, be flexible. You should be able to kind of bounce up and down and sit your butt down into it. You should kind of be aligned in a line, so head, shoulders, hips, knees, feet, all kind of in just like this invisible line from the top of your head down to your feet. That's going to really help you balance and distribute your weight evenly. You just want to sit down like you're sitting into a chair. How low you want to go is up to you. The lower you go, probably the more stable you're going to feel um, and center yourself by putting your butt down. Basically squat straight down into it and bend your knees and make sure that your knees are staying flexible. A good way to tell if your knees are flexible is if you can kind of just bounce up and down. So another common mistake that beginners make when they first start roller skating is to try and regain your balance by using your arms and often you're already out of balance and your arms are probably flailing and waving all over the place as you try to get control of your speed and your momentum and your balance and actually the best way to recenter your balance and regain control is to use the tip from before so sit down into it often when you're swinging your arms around and you actually make your upper body out of balance and so your shoulders are going forwards and backwards and side to side and you're bending at the waist while your arms are flailing around because your arms are sending your upper body all over the place and what you want to do to regain control is to just relax your arms beside you so just let them hang by your side. It doesn't mean you have to be a rag doll, but for roller skinny, you don't need your arms a ton. You mostly stabilize through your lower body. So essentially, if you have the correct stance of your hips being over your knees and your feet and your knees are bent and your butt is down like we talked about earlier, you're going to have a lot better balance and stability on skates than if you were trying to use your arms or your upper body to stabilize and balance yourself. So what I want you to practice is not only the stance mentioned earlier with the staggered feet and your hips being down and sitting your butt down into it, but also keeping your chest up, your shoulders over your hips, 
and your arms kind of just relax at your side. It doesn't mean that you can't ever use your arms. It just means when you're first starting out, be careful of using your arms and flailing them to try and regain your balance. Keep your chest up and keep your shoulders over your hips. This next one is honestly one of the first things that I think we do when you first learn how to roller skate. And that is looking down at your skates or looking down at the ground. So it's very common to want to watch your feet and watch what your skates are doing and just pay attention to your feet in general when you first start out. It's a huge temptation. However, I wanna encourage you to look up and look out where you're going. You don't need to look at your skates the whole time once you have good stance. You should be able to by now feel how you are skating and be able to look out where you wanna go. So simply, instead of looking down at your skates, look up, look out, look where you want to go, and you'll find that your skating will improve. Pay more attention to being in tune with your stance and your body and how your weight is being distributed. When you're looking up, your chin is up as well and you're less likely to lean forward too much, so it's gonna correct some stance problems as well. Looking up not only helps you see where you want to go and allow your body to follow that and for you to trust your stance and your weight and your balance, but it also transforms how your skating style looks. You look a lot more confident when you are looking up and you're not looking at the ground. We're going to go from baby giraffe to a gazelle in this one. What you see here is probably the most common way people start off roller skating if they have no experience and they've never done it before. It's kind of what I like to call the choppy walk. It's when you just chop your feet straight up and down on the ground and almost not quite stomping, but just like picking your feet straight up and putting your feet straight back down. It's basically mimicking walking. You're picking your feet up and you're putting them down. What you're gonna do instead is what I like to call a glide. For rolling forward, what you're gonna do to glide is alternating steps with our skates low to the ground. So you're gonna do this alternating. So you're gonna do one foot, pick it up, let it kind of push back and out behind you. You don't need to pick up your foot very high off the ground. In fact, it's kind of a little more fluid and easy to keep your wheels close to the ground as you do this. You do not have to like kick your feet high and far behind you. Basically what you're gonna do is just pick up one foot, push it out and back behind you. And then you're gonna set it down. As soon as you set your foot down in front of you again, you're gonna do the same motion with your other skate and take alternating steps. Set one down, push out and back, set it down again. And then pick up your other foot, push out and back and set it down in front of you again. And you're just gonna keep doing this alternating, smooth, fluid step until you kind of get the feel for it. This is gonna also give you a little bit of push forward and momentum, so you're gonna roll forward. The difference and not only how you look when you do this, but how it feels is significant. Your style is going to improve, your confidence is going to improve, and your skill as a roller skater is going to improve. If you've ever been skating and you got a little bit more speed than you wanted, and you had not learned yet how to slow down or stop, you may have panic fallen down. This is basically what I did the first time I skied. I would literally just go down the entire hill and then just fall at the end. And eventually that gets a little tired. So the easiest way to slow down is to do a T-stop. Essentially what you do is you set all four wheels down behind you. So you pick up one skate and you set down all four wheels onto the ground directly. You're not gonna go in an angle and do the side of your wheels or only the front wheels and dragging them. You're gonna pick up your foot, set it down. The harder you push down through your leg, so from your hip through to your feet, the more pressure you apply, the quicker you're gonna stop. The more pressure you apply down on your wheels is how strong of a stop you're gonna have. You do not wanna just chop your skate or stomp your foot straight down um, because roughly just dropping your foot straight down and a T-stop is just gonna trip you up. So you want to kind of just drag the four wheels evenly and just increase the pressure that you're applying down to the ground. And that's how you slow down. If you're going a little faster and you need to do more than just slow yourself down, you're gonna wanna learn how to either plow stop. You can do a double plow stop where both feet kind of come in front. If you've ever practiced bubbles, you can work up to this stop. Um, another way that you can do it is doing a single leg plow stop. And then the last one you can eventually learn how to do once you get a couple more basic skills out of the way is how to turn around and stop on your toe stops. But we'll get to that another time. Thank you.
Editing Brianna here. I've been editing this video for several days straight and it has occurred to me that it is too long to fit into one video. And this is the predicament I have myself in. So I really packed it in for you guys. What I'm going to do is split it between two, one and part two. I'll put this half up first and then I will link the second one below. Make sure you subscribe so you see the next video when I post it and if you tap the bell icon, it will notify you when I post. I don't think any of you want to sit for eight, ten minutes straight, no matter how good it is. So I'm going to split this up into two. Hope you enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for the next one. Hope you find this video helpful. Please give it a like if you like it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!